Good morning everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. In, well, the last part we took out, um, what's it called? Not Thieves Town, no, um, how am I blanking on this thing's name? Oh, Skull Woods, and we got our second Master Or. To upgrade our sword. You can see these blue, the blue, the green guys don't stand a chance. Um, oh yes, our sword beam is now become red as well. I mean, for as little as you're going to get to see it, because these guys are jerks. But we do basically one hit everything. So our next goal isn't going to be. Oh. It isn't going to be in the overworld, because I've been, for some reason, I decided, you know what, let's just walk there in the overworld, and I was really confused why I couldn't see what I was looking for. Yeah. So, we're going to actually jump right into this wall right off the bat. Because, uh, the dungeon we are going to cover is that axe that's right beneath us, right there. So... Let's head over towards it. These guys go down pretty quick and are a decent source of money if you really need it, because they seem to always drop a red ruby. So, we'll continue down this way. Um, if you have beaten the um, Sand Dungeon, or at least got the Titan Mitts out of it, it does make this trek a lot easier. Um, I wound up not doing it that way the first time I played this, and oh, it felt so much longer. Because you have to go up and around past your house, as opposed to being able to walk basically straight there. So because we bought the big bomb, we can lead it and just kind of walk it to where we're going. Come on. Because we will need the big bomb for this next dungeon. But should any enemy hit the bomb, it's going to explode. Which, I want to blow up this doorway just because, well, why not? Um, it's one of the other things you can do with the big bomb. And all it really unlocks is 100 rupees. So there the bomb would have half paid for itself already. Because uh, what was it, 200 to rent the bomb when we went to do it with the Mayamais? got back our heart so we can actually sword beams again. I love the sword beams with this one. They're a nice red color. Um, next sword is gold, so there'll be a cool gold color after. Lead the bomb right through this gap. Much easier if you pick up that rock. Um, and it does allow you to shortcut a lot. Kill off that guy. We do not want any of these guys hitting our bomb. Which is another good reason we got the... We managed to get the gloves. Because, see, we're already too basically where the... I did not want to leave them alive. We're already basically to the dungeon. You can see it's right here. So go here and there's the bomb. And all of the water drains, which means we can't get to the dungeon anymore. There's no climb up points. So that's their way of saying, hey, you're going to need the hookshot for this dungeon. New weather vane has been added to the map. Nope, we don't need to save. Um, the reason you want to blow it up is because you can enter here soon. However, that's all water. This entire area here becomes just water. Which means you can't get in this doorway. So, it was a unique way for them to block it. I really should have shown that off to start. And more showing that you need the hookshot for it. Also, that hookshots can actually affect these pillars. But the water will pour in, and now we have water at this point. And you can always teleport back with those pillars too, you can uh, hookshot to those. Oh look! Can we make the jump? Nope. 
we cannot. And you also cannot use your sword in the water, so you gotta be very careful about that. For these guys, you can steal them out of their shell, and then sword them. Alternatively, yeah, pick up their shell and just kind of chuck it anywhere to lose it. Let's continue to this big area to the left. Unfortunately, not much we can do with these rafts right yet. There's a lot of stuff we can't quite get at yet. Oh yeah, we do have big bombs. So, uh, we will be able to blow up any path without needing to rely on the little bomb creatures. Oh, look at that. We got a key right there and some water already. The compass. That's going to save us a little bit of time just so we now know where everything is. Alright, first goal. Yeah, by using your hookshot alongside any of these rafts, you will be able to follow them whichever way they sit. So we will pull ourselves closer right. I was going to say aiming at that one down there, but I guess we don't need to. It looks like there's a nice chest down here, so let's find out. Is it really a... you need to throw this? Yes, okay. So you can steal the slug, kill it, and then throw his... body, I guess in this case, at that button. For 300 rupees. So it's a nice, easy puzzle, but enough of a puzzle that it, it warrants it. So hookshot our way back across, and we'll go the long way. Apparently this entire puzzle here was for something very important, which is to say... Oh, you really game? Thank you. Whatever, it was to get try to get that treasure chest, which I do think we actually need. May have just uh, messed ourselves up there. Fortunately, we can always get back around this way. That really shouldn't work where I was just standing, but I'm glad it did. Very glad it did. Let's head into this next room. Hey, look, another key. Let's see if we can actually get this one this time. Alright, stepping on any of those will knock you in. Is that the same with? Yep, same with if you try to charge over them. Probably not the best use of my health. Fortunately. Oh, you can turn them off. And be able to go grab this. Now, there's a few doors that we have that could open with this. I think we'll go up a floor though before we try any of them. Since it looks like there's plenty of keys in this dungeon. Probably for the purpose of. Alright. So we already seen we cannot get there right yet. But when we raise some of the water level, we might have a chance. Yeah, no shell for you. Oh, this is where we started. Which means, yeah, no, that was the correct thing. It would have been just to use it on that room right at the top there. Be 
because we do need to raise the water level at some point, and that can only be done from, well, the bottom half of the dungeon, so we have to go this way first. Not the move I wanted to use, but it'll turn them on just the same. And that changes the direction of the water. So, what we could not access before, we can now access. However, it's still blocked that way. So we can actually walk across this wall. And if you shoot, if you shoot that'll turn on the long water, which fills in the last gap. However, we can't get back the way we took it in, so we'll just take the slide back. And because we have bombs, we can take another slide, which I thought that would force me on that immediately. I'm kind of surprised it didn't. There we go. I had to actually move to do it. But we can escape up to the next floor. For the mini boss, which is a very big electric jellyfish. Standard jellyfish rules, don't hit it when it's electric. Our double sword's going to be very helpful here. And it will split when it's low health. That is probably the other rule it's going to follow. Into a lot of them. Oh, however, all of these are one hit. So we'll wait for them to turn off. And circle and all of them can go down. Giving us a nice... I'm not holding the button, so okay, I'll take the free spin, because I happen to be on B at the time. But yeah, the spin attack guaranteed kills pretty much all of them. I don't think it matters what sword you're using, but the double sword does help. So we hit that button and opens up the path. Now we can get back this way anytime we need to. Oh, and the enemy hit us and opened itself up. So we have a drop down point should we need it. Uh, I'm gonna actually go and I'm gonna open the, I'm gonna merge the path on the other side too. Just to, oh, it's a one for both. Good to know. I really think that should have blown up that other bomb really think that should be the case. But we'll head down right, we're right up here, and feel silly because we have to fall down the other one, I guess. Fortunately, because we made that path, it's a real quick trip back up. We'll collect another monster tail, or two, on our way. Oh, we, we got exactly a thousand now, that's pretty cool. Grab ourselves a key while the bomb is slowly ticking away ahead of us. And we'll run over here. You know what? Fine. Take this, we're gonna pull it this way and do the exact opposite way I want it to go. I would actually want to drop this down to 1 as its water level, because you can see there's a door right above it, and I'd love to see what that is before we raise the water level too, too high. As we can already see, there is an item in it. There we go. So we'll drop the water all the way down to the bottom, and swim up here. most dangerous of bars. But it gives us the blue mail, so we're already down to half damage. And that's going to be where we call it. We've got our blue mail, we've got our upgraded sword, and I will see you guys next time.